Thanks for coming back to keep working on those sci-fi stories of yours. This is episode two of Write Your Own Sci-Fi series, and this time we're going to be talking about characters. It's one thing to have a great world for your story and to think up exciting ideas for the things that happen in your story, but without characters that your readers care about or relate to in some way, it might be hard to keep them reading. Most stories centre around one or two major characters. If you're just starting out as a writer, I'd suggest sticking with one major character to keep things a bit simpler. I've been writing for a long time, but I still find this the easiest way to work. It's important that your readers care about your main character and are really interested in the journey they go on in your story. To help you achieve this, here are a few useful questions to ask yourself when you're thinking up your character. To begin with, some obvious things such as how old is your character? What does your character look like? What kind of clothes does your character wear? This is an especially good question in science fiction when your character may well be wearing very different types of clothes to what we wear today. Next, I like to ask what drives the character? Most characters have a goal in mind in each story and have to overcome problems to reach that goal. Why is this goal so important to your character? And why is your character well equipped to succeed in the mission you've thought up for them? What has happened in the character's past? Is there something they've experienced that really makes them want to achieve their main goal in the story? Maybe they've been bullied or maybe they've lost someone they care about. You don't need to put their whole life history in your story, but it does help the readers to understand the character better if they know a bit about where they've come from and how they came to be the person they are today. What are some of the character's biggest strengths? Do they have a special skill? Are they funny or clever or unusually kind? What are the character's biggest weaknesses? Do they have a short temper? Are they impatient? Do they not like being told what to do? How do you think your readers will connect with your character? Usually we want our readers to like our character or at least to feel that they have something in common with them. It really helps if your readers want your character to succeed in their mission. The questions we've just discussed helped me come up with the character of Max Booth, who is now the star of four books brilliantly illustrated by Dave Atsey. Max is 11 years old. He kind of needs a haircut and he dresses in slightly tatty futuristic clothes because he can't afford to buy new ones very often. More interesting to me though is what drives Max to go on the missions he takes on in each book. In his case, there are a few things that drive him, mainly his need to make a living so he can fill his tummy and look after his robo dog, Oscar. He's also driven by his desire to avoid going back to the orphanage he escaped from two years ago. Another drive is his interest in ancient items from long ago, things like postage stamps and mobile phones that you and I have probably come across in our own lives. Max's biggest strengths are that he rarely gives up. He's usually quite calm in a crisis and he's very clever at thinking up solutions in a hurry. He's also quite kind and sees the way society can be unfair to certain groups of people. His weaknesses include a tendency to be impatient and get angry quickly. I really hope that Max can connect with my readers in a number of ways, particularly in how they feel for him, knowing that he's mostly on his own in the world and struggling to get by without the love and support of his immediate family. Max is the main character in the series, but he certainly isn't the only important one. Max needs help on his missions and he gets it from his loyal robo-dog, Oscar. Oscar doesn't talk, but he shows a lot of emotion through his expressions. He's also very clever and often thinks of good ideas when Max runs out of them. Oscar's also quite sensitive and needs to be reassured that he's doing a good job. His biggest weakness is that he has a fascination for robo-rats, which tends to distract him at very inconvenient moments. Another character we see a lot in the series is Max's friend, Jesse. Jessie is the supervisor of the Blugsville Museum storeroom. She lets Max and Oscar secretly live there in an old packing case. Jessie would get into a lot of trouble if her boss found out that she was letting Max and Oscar live there, but she's willing to take this risk. 
Jesse's older than Max, in her 20s, but she shares his fascination with ancient objects from the 20th and 21st centuries. When Jesse can't identify an object in the storeroom, she hands it to Max and hopes he'll have better luck. In each story, we meet a number of different characters as well, usually villains. The villains in Max's world are usually adults who find out about the items he's hunting down and know how precious they are. Max often, often has to use his wits to prevent these greedy people from taking hold of items that really belong in the museum. A group of villains we meet in each story is the unclaimed urchins recapture squad who want to take Max back to the orphanage he escaped from. They're always on the prowl and they make his missions even more dangerous. So that's a little bit about how I've gone about filling Max's world with characters. I'm sure you'll have a lot of interesting character ideas of your own and I'd love to hear about them. Keep on writing and we'll see you in the next video where we'll talk about finding an interesting hook to grab your reader's attention. Look forward to seeing you then.